Hey everyone, Karnak again with Star Wars Armada Explained. Today we're looking at the weapons team, Veteran Gunners. How do you know uh, if Veteran Gunners is equipped to weapons team? If you look at the bottom left hand corner of the card, you'll see the weapons team symbol. Looks like that dude with the helmet. Uh, well, actually all these dudes are wearing <laughs> that helmet. Uh, this card costs 5 points if you look to the other side. So veterans, uh, Veteran Gunners reads... While attacking, you may exhaust this card to reroll all dice in your attack pool. This card does have a Erita, uh, or a clarification. Uh, veteran Gunners, while a ship equipped with this card is attacking, it can spend accuracy icons before resolving this effect. Those dice are removed from the attack pool and are not rerolled. So, for taking up a, a, a weapons team slot for Veterans Gunners, how does this card work? It's fairly simple. Uh, in this situation, we're going to say I've got the Star Destroyer shooting at this uh, Corvette. Let's say it's a, an Imperial 2 Star Destroyer, so it shoots uh, 4 red, 4 blue, and that's the roll that it made. Now, for whatever reason, we're going to go ahead and change some of these die around. We're going to say that he got a, a bunch of accuracies. Let's say he got three, he got three accuracies there. So if this card, or even, you know what, let's go ahead and change. Change these to blanks. I really want to show, like, what this card does. So, Veteran Gunners is after you roll your initial attack pool, you know, barring, you know, if, if you have to remove any dice from obstruction or anything else. Um, so you roll your initial attack pool. In this situation, we're going to say there's no obstruction, just a regular old shot, four red, four blue. You know, you rolled the three accuracy, and you only got, ah, two damage going on here. Well, obviously, that's not very good. You don't want that. So you can exhaust veteran gun, or not exhaust, but let me back up a step. So, for example, a Corvette typically has two evade tokens and a redirect. Uh, if we were shooting, for example, at, we're at medium range here, you know, so they can't cancel any to or any die with evades because we're not at long range. We're not in the the uh, the red we're in the blue oh, wrong ship so we're at medium range so the Corvette could re-roll one of your die but he could not cancel a die unless of course that Corvette uh, Admiral is Mon Mothma um, so if the Corvette wasn't red he could evade and cancel one of these die out completely during his defend uh, spend defense token step if you're in blue range he could re-roll a die if you're in close range he doesn't utilize uh, evades for anything, unless again you have specific cards that state otherwise. We're going to say in this situation he's at medium range. So obviously with two damage, if the ship you know did have, well, let's go ahead and put default set of values on these ships so you can see what I'm talking about. If they had full health, which is two shields, two shields, and two shields, you know two damage, not really going to do a whole lot for you. So once you've rolled your initial attack pool, if you do have other card effects. Uh, that allow you to add die like spinal armaments or quad battery turrets if you're matching the criteria for those cards you know you could add any of those additional die to your uh, initial attack pool um, also this is a, if you want to use concentrate fire you know this is when you use that portion uh, because once you exhaust veteran gunners and you re-roll your whatever the die you have collected if you add anything to it after that you can't re-roll it. You've already utilized the card in that effect. So we're going to go ahead and say, you know what? Uh, I'm not worried about the evades. I'm just worried about the, the redirect. So I'm going to spend one of these blue dice. So you, you cancel it. You remove it. When you spend an accuracy to lock a defense token, you actually remove that die from the attack pool. So I'm saying, hey, no redirect for you, but I don't like this roll. I'm going to exhaust veteran gunners. I'm going to re-roll all of these reds and the and the blue accuracy. So we reroll the blue accuracy. Up, oh, still an accuracy. Uh, reroll. <laughs> reroll the other die, and hey, guess what? You still ended up with two accuracy salts. But now you can you've locked the all the defense tokens because you're going to spend these other two accuracies to lock out the other two. So now you're still doing one, two, three, four, five. So not quite enough to kill the Corvette outright but enough that it's going to be left on one hole 
with taking a critical effect, potentially maybe you draw a structural damage or maybe you draw something else that could help you out for being able to finish off this Corvette. But that's Veteran Gunners, uh, Star Wars Armada Explained. Thanks for watching. If you feel like anything is an error or not correct, please be sure to comment below. See you later.